Back on the finale, Minnesota and Michigan. Zach Irvin appears to be fully healed from that offseason back issue. As he was tremendous in this one. Steps out, hits the three. Wolverines up by seven. Looked like they would roll early. Andrew Dockich coming up with the steal. Irvin straight through the lane. Michigan up 20 to nine. But give the Gophers some credit as they played tough here down the stretch in the first half. Jordan Murphy, part of a 10-0 run for Minnesota, got it to within seven at the break. To the second now. Mark Tunnell, not there. Aubrey Dawkins, oh yes. Good work on the glass by Dawkins. Michigan up by eight. Later in the second, Carlos Morris, who had at just 17 points in the last three games combined, gets the roll. He had 14 in this one. Gophers back within three. Michigan, though, had the answer. It was Dawkins. Nine of 31 behind the arc for the Wolverines, up by six. Derek Walton Jr. had an outstanding second half. 17 for him after the break, 22 in the game. More from Walton. The acrobatic finish as Michigan does hang on and the Wolverines improve to four and two in the league with the 74 to 69 win their fifth straight conference home victory so they bounce back from the loss to Iowa. Meanwhile Minnesota 0 and 7 now in the Big Ten first time in a dozen years. Afterwards Stephen Bardo with the winners. Thanks a lot guys. Please be joined by head coach John Beeline coach. You came into today's game a little concerned about your defense. How do you think your guys respond? Well, okay, you know, we were at, I think they had 10 points or something with two minutes, or they had 20 points with two minutes to go in the first half, and we blew apart at the end of that first half. It was a bad time for us. And then it was a struggle the rest of the way, but we scored just enough points and got just enough stops. So they're a quick team now. Steve, I told you before the game, they're as athletic and as quick as anybody. And with the new rules, man, they just, you can see, what are you going to do on number two? You don't want to leave. Uh, 24 at, in, in the game. You don't want to leave him. He's going to shoot it. So just take it to the basket, take it to the basket. We don't have that shot blocker, so that bothers us. You guys were able to overcome some cold shooting by your standards. Duncan Robinson, a couple of other guys were, were struggling, but you were still able to find the win. Yeah, you know, I mean, everybody knows we're able to shoot the ball really well, and when the shots aren't falling, we got to be able to get to the free throw line, just get in the paint and make things happen. And it seems like everybody is doing their part to step up in the absence of Karras, especially you and also Derek Wall. Can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, you know, when our brothers go down, Karras and Spike this year, you know, we just want to win as many games we can for them. Because, you know, there's a senior, this is the last year. We're doing what we can. And then talk about Derek Walton. You did the yeoman's work in the first half. Derek comes back in the second half with 19 points. Yeah, you know, it was big for us. You know, I had a good first half. Derek Karras in the second half, that's what we need. You know, we just need players to step up while Karras is out right now. We ought to make free throws down the stretch, which is huge. Okay, well, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate the victory and go enjoy yourself. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, talk to you later. Thanks, guys.